Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So we have a brand new monster taming game that kind of came out of nowhere. I found out about this thanks to Monster Tamer Blowbus. Shout out to him. Um, basically, this game's called Lumori or Lumari, and it's a sandbox adventure with new companions. Now, I'm going to show you guys the trailer first, sort of uninterrupted, and then we'll get into like uh, the nitty gritty. We got uh, an article that explains a little bit about the game. We have some FAQ stuff. They are going to be having a play test. So we're going to go through all that, but let's start off with the trailer. So, yeah, it definitely gives me those sort of Breath of the Wild meets, uh, I, I guess you could say, like, you know, monster taming. It almost gives me, like, that Breath of the Wild meets Pal World vibes, if, if I'm being honest, uh, minus the guns. It is also going to be a sandbox, so that actually kind of makes sense. But um, we also have a few more screenshots down here as well. And, um, you know, here you can see the game's looking pretty nice so far. They did recently acquire a good sum of money, so they do have funding. But uh, here you get a little more of here. You can see uh, the character has HP themselves. There's also like building and farming and stuff like that. Again, it is a sandbox, much like Pal World is as well. So this might be a... <laughs> we were just talking about rivals to Pokemon, but this might actually be a rival to Pal World in many ways. And then here you can see uh, some combat, right? So from what we understand, and we're going to we're gonna come into here and read it, the game's kind of like... Uh, monster taming, sims, and and um, sandboxing all together in one. But let's go through the article here by Bundle, uh, where it basically says, Gaming startup Proxima emerged from stealth earlier this week, announcing its funding round as well as its... Uh, in a I, I, I can't pronounce that word for some reason. Uh, Lumari, a social sandbox adventure game that appears to be a cross between Animal Crossing, Pokemon, and Minecraft. The studio raised $1.6 million in pre-seed funding led by London Venture Partners with participation of Convoy Ventures, Progression Fund, uh, Valhalla Ventures, blah, 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 blah. The majority of funding will go towards developing the game, which is still in the early stages. Um, the founder is a former lead per, uh, product manager at Electronic Arts, aka EA, and previously worked on The Sims, one of EA's major game studios, or sorry, game video, uh, sorry, video game franchises. The Proxima team is con uh, comprised of five veterans of the game industry, Riot, Storm 8, Wildlife Studios, and Unity. Although specific details about Lomari be kept, being kept under wrap, Mo told TechCrunch that similar to other sandbox games, uh, players will be able to visit each other, chat, and build things together. The game will also allow players to collect creatures, basically pet companions for players, build a home and habitat, grow a garden, and explore an expansive world. Uh, Lumari means creatures of light, according to Mo. Customization will be a major part of the game. Ultimately, we want to build uh, this for people who want to find their place, he said. We think about it as a canvas for people who want to express themselves and hang out. Uh, as seen in the trailer, which we just saw, players will also have to fight what looks like purple-colored beings. Uh, beware danger lurks across the reaches of this fractured world, the Lamari website writes. The game isn't expected to launch for another two years or longer, which, side note, we need more games launching in like 2025, 2026, so this is totally fine. Uh, on June 15th, Lamari is having its first playtest, which I, uh, I will leave the YouTube channel with the trailer because that has all like the links and stuff that you need. 
I signed up for the the test, but it is going to be NDA, so we won't actually I won't actually be able to stream it. But I do want to get a sort of look at and feel at how the game plays. But anyways, um, at this time, playtest will be single player. Users will have to have a Windows PC to participate. When it officially launches, it'll be available on more devices. And if we go to FAQ, just in case you want to learn some more background information of the game, uh, what platforms it'll be available on. Firstly, it'll be PC. They want to do more. When are we expected to see the release of the full game? Uh, you know, they don't know. <laughs> uh, how can I stay updated on the game's development? The best way is by following our Twitter or signing up for the newsletter. Playtesters will be able to join our Discord when they interact with the, dire the devs directly. Will there be multiplayer? Yes, social play is at the heart of our experience. However, the first playtest will be single player. Will the uh, playtest be free? Yes. Uh, and then some questions about the playtest. Will it be under under NDA? Yes, everyone participating is under an NDA, which means you won't be able to stream or make other content. Lumari is still under development, so much of the current game might change. Uh, how will they be selected? There was a survey, like I said. Is the playtest open to all regions? Yes. And then the minimum specs uh, you can see on screen if you're interested. And that's pretty much like the the big sort of stuff that that, that you need to know. So... Essentially, this game is going to be a sandbox monster raising game by the looks of it. I'm not sure how integral monster combat will be. If you look at the screenshot I showed earlier, we, we see the human fighting the purple monster, but we don't actually see a monster. Actually, hold on, hold on. We do have a monster down in the, in the bottom left corner. Uh, maybe the monster acts as an ability. As you can see, it's connected to the two. So maybe, you know, kind of like in League of Legends where you have like QWER to use your various moves and then they go on cooldown. Maybe the monsters are kind of like your moves. Adore does this as well. So that's an option. It does seem this is going to lean more towards like the sort of sandboxy Minecraft feel, which for me personally, like I'm a, you know, give me a story, give me uh, an objective and let me tame and battle and stuff like that. That's my kind of thing. I don't personally care for building or um, raising or anything like that. I, I don't have the attention span for it, but I do think this will be an interesting thing to keep your guys' uh, eyes on. Again, this might be something that maybe it's not coming out at the same time as Power World, but might act as a rival in the future. So I don't know. I think this is going to be pretty interesting. And definitely also uh, going to sort of hit that Sky Climber, um, that Sky Climber audience as well. So another 3D sandbox monster taming game to look out for. But other than that, guys, like I said, we don't really know much about the game. I will keep you guys updated on any developments via Monster Tamer News. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this quick uh, update, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon as well. Special thanks to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogh Ghost, Dark Persona Exodus, and Kenny Morency. And we'll see you next time. Peace.